Hi everyone, I was browsing vegan recipes online the other day and saw the Minimalist Baker's vegan pistachio almond ice cream and wanted to give it a try. I don't have a ice cream maker, so this will be a test to see if her ice cream works well without an ice cream maker. Let's get started. First thing you're going to need is one and one quarter cup of raw cashews soaked overnight, 14 ounces of full fat coconut cream, three tablespoons of olive oil or melted coconut oil, one quarter cup of maple syrup, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, three quarters of a cup of ground pistachios, sliced almonds for topping if you'd like them, a quarter cup of cane sugar, and one eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. I'm outside filming this right now, so if you hear lots of extra noises, that's what that is. <laughs> and that's everything you'll need for the recipe. The first thing you're going to want to do is grind up your pistachios. This recipe is really easy. All you have to do now is put everything into a blender. After your ingredients are all blended together, you can pour it into a bowl that's already been in the freezer for a while. Since we're not using an ice cream maker, every hour you'll have to take it out of the freezer and stir it up until it's frozen. So this is how the pistachio almond ice cream turned out. I'll give you a little close up so you can see. I'm sure I'll give you a close up another way too. But um, it ended up tur turning out really well even without an ice cream maker. It never got hard like a traditional ice cream would when you have it in the freezer or like when you would buy. And actually this is my first time making ice cream so I don't know um, if that's just this recipe or when you make it yourself in general. But I kind of like that. I mean, no one really wants rock hard ice cream anyway. It's best if it's a little bit um, softer than that. And the sliced almonds taste really good on it. My mom was just telling me that she, she made some honey cake the other day um, for Rosh Hashanah and she had it with that and that it tasted really great. But it's good on its own, of course. I tried it um, in addition to sliced almonds. I also added some chocolate chips when I had it once and that tasted really good. So yeah, it's a really great um, recipe. So yeah, now you have a great ice cream. If you wanna try the recipe, let me know how it turns out, either with an ice cream maker or without, I'd love to hear. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.